You're so random. I think the runaway success of Azumanga Daio in 2002 and Lucky Star in 2007 started the trend for what I'll call the random screwball comedy. This revolves around a core cast of oddball characters and their otherwise mundane lives, enlivened by crazy conversations on wacky subjects. Recently, we've seen that format trend away from half-hour TV shows to shows with shorter running times, typically on the internet, which frankly suits the concept well. Himote House is a 12-episode series, each episode 12 minutes long, and one aspect I think was a huge problem for a lot of people. Let's get this out of the way. The characters are all CGI. Now, I'll admit, the characters are often staged simply and move stiffly. Moreover, the situation in the show itself is unlikely to impress. Five young women all live together in the same house, and oh, by the way, they each have a random weird superpower. And I'll be honest, it's a cheap show from a raw production standpoint. But any anime series is more than just its production budget. Almost every episode of Himote House feels like a fresh approach to the characters and their situation. The powers, in fact, remain mostly ignored in favor of exploring the girls' personalities in a variety of situations. And the show is never afraid to try out a weird new concept. At the start of every episode, I look forward to seeing where the show was taking me this time around. This is helped by solid voice acting, in the Japanese there's no English dub, that clearly differentiates each character, which is particularly important for a show with relatively basic animation. I particularly appreciated the throaty growl of the middle-aged character, which felt like a wonderfully realistic choice. In addition, most episodes end with an improvised segment. The voice actors were clearly sitting down around a bunch of microphones and recorded live, much like a segment on a radio show. These segments were then animated with the girl characters sitting around in their living room taking on weird vocal or improv challenges. The banter back and forth really livens up these segments, making them feel natural and relaxed and real in a way you rarely see in the heavily stylized world of anime, much as I love it. And in a final treat for anime fans, every episode ends over the end credits by panning over fan art of the protagonists cosplaying as characters from famous anime. It's a lot of fun to look at the first outfit or two and try to guess what show they're from. Overall, Himote House is one of those wonderful rare finds in anime, a show that most people skip for surface reasons, but actually hides a lot of fun under the surface. It's not for everyone, but I know I thoroughly enjoyed it.